Uh, we're going to simplify each of these. First, let's take a look at what we should have at the end there. See the answers there, 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 there. Take a quick look. No, oh, these we should have just done this in our notes. What's that? Yes. When you went, when you walked in, it said, "Please pass in your homework," and then simplify each of the following expressions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Got to read the front of the room every day. Yes. What? Okay. We're gonna clear it up. These aren't on the sheet that you already have. These are examples I made up before class today. You've got the wrong answer, it's not a big deal. We're going to figure it out together. We're going to go through the answer and go through the worksheet, okay, before we move on. That's great. I just did x plus x, like, like 10x equals x. She was like x. 10x doesn't equal x. 10x, 10x means 10 times a number, right? Yeah. Like if you were to plug a number in there, you would multiply it by 10. So to say 10x is just x is to say that, well, plug a number in for x, but don't bother multiplying by 10. Just make it the number. No, we don't need to put y. We don't need to put anything in for x. We don't need to plug anything in. Okay. Let's talk about that. I suspected that we'd have some trouble, and that's fine. Having trouble is... You never taught us yesterday how to do it. You just told us I showed you two thing. examples yesterday. You didn't show our class. I, understand it. I watched the video before class, and I did show you two examples. Mm -hmm. Okay. So these ones were a little more challenging than the worksheet. Okay. Let me just show you what's going on here. Uh, what we have is. Let's say 10x plus negative 20 plus 3x plus negative 1. Can we all agree that that's the same as what we started with? Let's say plus a negative is the same as to say minus this number. Okay. So since we're adding them all together, let me just put 10x plus 3x right next to each other. Right? Then plus negative 20 plus negative 1. So far, is that all right? Yeah. Is that anything crazy that doesn't make sense? Yeah. Kind of, yeah, okay. Yeah, how would you do it? If, like, 20 plus negative 1, wouldn't that be 19? And how do you know if it's, like, like what if it's 10x plus minus 1? How do you figure that out? Well, for the time being, it's not. <laughs> okay? Let's just deal with what we have. And then we'll, we'll switch it up. All right? I made this first one with positives so that we could that taken care of, Emma. So you don't have to write the, like, um, at put a plus sign in front of no, the negative one? you can just say minus 20 and minus okay. 1. But I just want to show that what I did there is totally legal. I can move this stuff around because all I'm really using is this thing called the commutative property of addition, okay? If you're not sure about it, let's do a, like a side example. Um, here, we'll use this little thing that I think is fun to do a side example. Okay. So an example over to the side of what I just did, a property of addition. Let's say we took 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 7, so that we don't just use 5 and not be that creative. All I did here was rearrange these numbers. Will that make a difference if I do 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 7, or if I do 2 plus 7 plus uh, 3 plus 4, will I get a different answer? No. 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 Good. We all agree, it sounds like. Will it make a difference if I do 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 3? No. It won't make a difference. Okay? So if I'm going to add up a bunch of stuff, then it doesn't matter what order I add that stuff up. All right? So that's all I've done here. Here is 1, 2, 3, 4 things being added up. And I want you to see that minus for 
for, the, for these purposes, for le less as a subtracting 20, more of as a negative 20, as a number negative 20. Okay? How do you guys feel about negative numbers? Are you like familiar? Mm -hmm. You're all right. You're all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. A negative number is just a number that's to the left of zero, right on a number line. Yes? I don't entirely like negatives like that because they're not as positive as they're supposed to be. So you're being negative about negative numbers. See? You're, now you're being negative. You're being what you don't like about negative numbers, yeah? See? So I'm a little confused on my like, Whoa, JC's trying to learn something. Hold on. The, like, addition, like, where do you get that? Well, because... To subtract a number is the same as to add a negative number. Oh, so you just like make, so the negative goes to the 20 and you yes. replace it with the addings. Right. So why wouldn't you okay. just subtract it instead of making yeah. it add Just so that if I didn't put that and I just threw these guys together and these guys over here, you might not see why I can do that. Simple. To you it seems simple and to others it's not as simple, okay? The only reason I put this addition here is to show, at least like with this example, that I can put the 10x and the 3x together over here and put the plus negative 20 or minus 20 and the plus negative 1 or minus 1 together. Okay? In the future, I'm not going to do that. I don't do that when I do my math homework. I just put the 10x plus 3x over there and minus 20 and minus 1 over there. And actually, I don't even do that. I do the stuff in my head. But I want to show you that that's okay to do. Okay? Are we all agreed that that's okay? And by that, I mean I just rearrange the terms. Mm -hmm. yeah. If it's not okay, then it'd be hard to move forward. Is it not okay with anybody else? Anybody is not okay with me rearranging those? Right. So as, uh, as Dalton just pointed out, it doesn't really matter if I call it plus negative 20 or minus 20. Okay? The important part wasn't to, to add negative 20 same subtracting 20s, just to show you that I can rearrange those terms at my discretion, when it's convenient for me. Okay. So here we have 10 of something and 3 of something. This kind of goes back to our discussion about fractions and how fractions have the same kind of thing to add them together. That's true of anything. If I'm going to collect a bunch of stuff together, which is what adding is, then all those things better be the same thing. I can't collect apples and oranges, can't collect horses and cows. Call them. You know, if I had 10 horses and 3 cows, I can't collect them together and say I have 13 Cows. things. Cows. 13 animals. <laughs> you say I have 13 animals. Horses. Right. But then the meaning, is, the meaning is lost when I say that they're animals. You have 13 livestock. The meaning is lost. I don't know what those livestock are. Okay. So what we have here are some things that are like each other. Here's some things that are like each other. But all of these things are not like each other. So you gotta split them up. So we gotta like say, well, these ones are these kinds of things, and these ones are these kinds of things, and never shall they be added together. Okay. Here I have ten of something. What do I have ten of? X's. Exactly. Ten X's. Ten X's, exactly. Okay. The way I have ten X's is I have an X plus another X plus another X plus another X plus another X, and so on and so on and so on. I add up how many X's? Ten. Ten. Okay, let's just say, you know, dot, 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 and just tell what I'm doing. I'm just making the answer disappear. Right here. Yeah, that's that. So all of this is just supposed to represent 10 X's being added together. Can we be all right with that? Kind of use our imagination. All right, 10 X's added together. All right, what are these? Three what? Three and three. X's, but when I say three, let me make clear what I'm saying here. Like I'm writing down the long version of multiplication. When I say 3 times 5, what I'm really saying is add up 3 over and over and over, 5 times. Right? 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. You can go the other way, 5 plus 5 plus 5. Add up 5 3 times. So I'm saying add up x 3 times. Right? So x, x plus x plus X. So this is x plus x plus x plus x, 10 times. This is x plus x plus x, 3 times, right? And I just happen to be adding all of those together. Right? So can I just collect them all up and say that I have 13 X's? 
that's a lot of x. But see, what this is saying is that to take x and multiply by 10, whatever x is, right, and then to take x on down the line a little further and multiply by 3, to multiply by 10 and to multiply by 3, and then to add those together, well, that's just a long way. I, I could have just taken x and multiplied by 13 just one time, and that's it. Does that make sense? Just take one number, if I multiply by 10, and then multiply by 3, and add those together, I might as well just multiply by 13. Okay. All right. Now, over here, we have some, some things. They are not x's, right? Right. Right. They're not x's. So they cannot be put together with x's, because they're not the same kind of thing. What these are, is they're just ones. Just like the digit 1 added to itself a bunch of times, or, or negative 1 added to itself a bunch of times because they're negative. Okay. So I just need to find the sum of these two numbers. Negative 20, start at negative 20, subtract 1 from that. Where are we now? 21? Negative 21. I'm sure that's what you meant. 13x minus 21. Okay. Now let's look here. Okay. I'm going to now not put all the plus negative stuff. I'm just going to say that this negative 3x plus 8x, kind of put those together, right? I can scoot the 8x over there next to the negative 3x. Any objections, you should let me know. Then I can add the 9 and subtract the 5. Because what I have is basically four numbers that I'm adding up, and I can group them together however I want. I can add these together first, and these, and however I want to, whichever way is convenient. It's convenient to put the x's next to each other, and then just total them up, figure out how many x's I have. Well, here I have eight x's, x plus 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 x, that's eight x's, right? And then minus x, minus x, minus x. So how many x's do we have? Five x's. Five x's, five x. To multiply a number by eight, to multiply a number later by negative three, and then to add that together is a lot of work. It would be the same as just multiplying by five, five times x. Then we have 9 minus 5. 9 minus 5 is 4. Okay. Now, 5x plus 4 is 9x? Yes or no? No. Why not? Because there's no 9x's. Okay, we don't know what x is. 4 doesn't have an x. 9 doesn't have an x either. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you can't put yeah. yeah, 4 doesn't have an x. 4 is, well, what we have here is 5 of something and 4 of something. Something else, not x. We have 5 of x's and we have 4 of something that's not an x. Okay? It's like apples and oranges. Try to put apples and oranges together and say that we have 9 apples. It doesn't make any sense. Oranges. Okay? If x, mean, if x represented apples, then what we'd be saying is, is 5 apples plus 4 oranges is 9 apples. But the, Oranges are oranges, they're not apples. Right? So let's not mix that up. We have five apples plus four oranges, to use an analogy, is not nine apples. That goes in that box over there. On top of my black lab cabinet. All right, so no, it's not 9x. Okay? To, to put it visually, this is x plus x plus x plus x. Let's put another plus x out there, right? Adding up five x's. That's what five x is. Everybody with me? Yes. Same page? Yeah. Thumbs up. Okay. Then we're adding four of something else. What, what is this? This is four of something. Four ones. Yes, four ones. One plus one plus one plus one makes the number four. A little weird because this thing wants to wants to take the answers away when I do that. I should. I don't know. So five x's plus four ones is five x's plus four ones. 
There's no way to put those together. If I try to add them together and say I have nine of something, it's nonsense, because there's not nine of any one kind of thing. There's five of those things, four of those things. So we're done. Five x's and four ones. Yes. But so like what if we did know what x was? Yeah. Could we like put them together even though they're different? No, because then we'll have five of whatever x is. So we'll have like five if x was, uh, I don't have anything here. If x was nine, then we'd have five nines and four ones. Well, five nines plus four ones is not nine nines, and it's not nine ones, it's five nines. Well, then, like, what ones. about the paper we did, like, not, well, the same paper we did yesterday, but the problem we did the other day? Like, it had the x, and it was five. Right. If I knew what x was, then I could carry out this multiplication and then combine all the numbers together. Okay. But until x has something, it is something, and can be multiplied by five, I don't know what this is, right? So we can look at it another way. We're kind of saying the order of operations says multiply five by whatever x is, and then add four. But I can't. I can't multiply five by whatever x is because I don't know what x is. Right? So then I just like I leave it. For, the, for whatever x comes along and reveals itself, then I can follow the order of operations. All right, so get, given these two as examples, why don't you take a crack at this one, okay? What if I got it? Got it, and do this one. Since our attention up here, we'll work on this one together, all right? So this is just no Okay, I got it. Here. All right, so by now I hope you're seeing that we have like, here's a number, okay? And here is a number, including the negative. Okay, this is a negative 13x. It needs to remain a negative 13x. If we move it around in the order, it stays a negative 13x. Okay? Uh, this is a 12. We're adding a 12 here. We're adding a negative 8x. So the, that 8x needs to remain negative throughout. Okay? Uh, minus 2 plus 13x. So we've got six things here. We've got six terms that, if possible, we want to take those terms that are similar to each other and collect them into one group, right, and say how many of these x's we have, how many y's, if there are y's, we can say how many y's we have, how many z's we have, how many just ones we have, okay? So, let's see. If I, if I make this negative stay with the 13, okay, then I make sure that minus 13x does happen, right? Minus 13x is supposed to uh, be part of this, right? It's supposed to, mm, Let's see, maybe I can show you what I mean here. Uh, can I cannot do that. Let's give a grace on this. So what I'm trying to say here is if I had five minus three plus seven. That's not going to be the same as 3 minus 5 plus 7, is it? No. No. When we should have gotten a positive 2. But this would be the same as negative 3 plus 5 plus 7. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, in this simple example, there's no reason why I would switch them around. But I can. I can switch them around. So that negative needs to follow the 3 because this represents you know, moving 3 to the left on the number line. So that moving three to the left in the number line needs to happen. And so we make that negative follow the three around. Same thing here. Moving 13 x's to the left on the number line needs to happen. And so we make that negative stay with the 13. Okay? That negative needs to stay with the 8x, right? Minus 8x. So, so far we've moved 13 x's to the left and 8 x's more to the left on the number line. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay, so subtraction is on the number line is like moving to the left. Okay, we move the 13x's to the left, we move 8x's to the left. Oh, but we're going to then move 13x's to the right on the number line. Okay? And you may have noticed well, negative 13x, positive 13x, if I move 13 to the left and then 13 to the right, it cancels out. Cancels out. We're right back where we started. So as far as x's are concerned, we have negative 8x. Negative 8 times x. Now the ones. There's 5 ones, 12 ones, negative 2 ones. Okay? So plus 5, plus 12, minus 2, minus 2. Okay? 
So we have, uh, I think this is 10 plus 5, 15. Negative 8x plus 15. We're going to hold off on this one because I threw it out there as a challenge, and it is just not enough of us are ready to move on to that. Okay. What I'm going to do is have you take out your, uh, your worksheets, your homework. I'm going to show you the combined terms there. Okay, just take a look at them. Wait, what? What did you do? Oh, I